Was it worth it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had it there, but then I don't again. I can't believe that I'm actually sliding across this thing. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> All right, folks, welcome back. We're out here on a very breezy and blustery day in the Highlands. The first attempt that day. It's so cold. It's like the worst. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the maddest tricks that I've done on my bike, which is barrel rolling a kid's trailer in the film Daycare, filmed in 2019 with Cut Media. The idea behind daycare was that I was going to babysit my friend Stu Thompson's daughter, Daisy. Hey man, how's it going? Thank you so much for doing this. Amber, you ready? No worries. Amber, you ready? And while I was babysitting her, I would take her out for a wee spin in the kids' trailer. <laughs> this trailer is quite a specific one. It has 200 mil of suspension on the back with one wheel, so it means that you can do some slightly more aggressive stuff. Obviously, you wouldn't be doing anything like the kind of riding I'm doing in this film with a child in the back. What are you thinking, Daisy? Ready to send it? When we had a doll in there, we could uh, think of some fun stuff to do. Initially, we just started off with some basic trail riding. We kind of wanted to see if the concept was going to work. Oh my. Yeah, it was pretty fun getting to rag this trailer down. You know, it's kind of swapping about behind you a little bit like doing rally with a caravan on the back quite a different dynamic on the bike and once we got those first shots we realised the concept was going to work. <laughs> She's hard to stop. We ended up taking up and wall riding on the edge of a dam, I cycled along the bridge in Killin. I even took the trail up to the top of the inaccessible pinnacle. After getting most of the film done there was still really something missing. I mean I had it in the back of my mind that it'd be pretty cool to try to go upside down with the trailer on the back so that kind of started a six month mission on trying to learn it from a foam pit to then taking it to an airbag to then trying to find a location for a jump to then making it all work. So it was uh, quite ambitious, I would say. <laughs> oh, yeah. The first step when it comes to learning a barrel with the trailer on the back was taking it to my local foam pit. That's, that's gonna work. The trailer actually followed what it was gonna do and it kind of gave me a little glimpse that it might be possible to do it. Something I really enjoy doing on my bike is trying to pick something that nobody else has tried before and trying to make it happen. But I quickly realized that I was gonna need a much bigger jump to be able to get the rotation round so I could try doing the barrel roll onto an airbag this time. Riding airbags is really fun. They're definitely not quite as soft as landing onto a foam pit. So even if I was going to make it round to my wheels, you're pretty much guaranteed a crash of some kind. After hundreds of goes into the airbag, still a little bit hit or miss whether or not it was going to actually work. I started scouting around Scotland trying to find a perfect spot to build a jump to do this trick. So the plan would be racks down here. The kicker would be about that where that log is. And then landing would be a little dirt drop down from the top there on here and then roll out in the fire road. Could work. I ended up coming across this nice bank at the side of a fire road in Dunkeld in the Highlands of Scotland. In the autumn of 2018, myself, Ricky Crompton and George Eccleston started digging away our landing. It was going to have to be quite a big setup for me, you know, it was bigger than the jumps I'm normally used to kind of riding. But in the back of my mind, I knew we had the whole daycare film sat there and this would just be the the perfect thing to finish it. By the time we got around to filming, I think we were in November, it's getting pretty cold, a little bit icy, and we actually had the airbag up on the hillside as well. It meant that I was able to keep the trailer in one piece. It's not tough enough to really take that many crashes. That last one was annoying. It was just, uh, thought I had it there, and then I don't again. I've had a few that have been really good and a few that have like not been so much so I'm kind of struggling to find consistency so we're confident to take the bag away but we'll get there. We'll get there. You got it. After quite a few attempts onto the airbag, I kind of started getting a feel for it and thought, right, this is the time to take it away and take it to dirt. It always takes me a few run-ups to kind of get the bottle to try it for the first time. Hey, let's go. It's happening. With a bit of encouragement, I bombed down. 
take off. I'm in the air, and as I come round, I see the landing. I completely over-rotated the barrel roll and get spat off down the landing without my bike. <laughs> Good. Now that was a crash. It started becoming clear that the step down landing wasn't the best idea. Because my bike was coming down, the trailer would keep traveling across and cause my over-rotation. By this point, the light was on the horizon. All I had to do was land it and roll away and the video would be finished. This time I tried to slow the rotation down, but by doing that, the trailer clipped the top of the takeoff and caused me to under-rotate pretty badly. And also the sun went behind the horizon, so kind of goosed the filming for the day, which is pretty frustrating. Basically, we realized that the landing that we built before was a little bit too small for the jump we had. So myself, George and Ricky ended up doing an all-nighter, tearing our old landing down and building a much bigger landing for the next day of filming. We turned up in the morning, pretty bleary-eyed. It was a freezing cold morning. Here we go. This was my last chance to try this trick because I actually had a knee operation booked for two days afterwards. The pressure was on. We actually had some crash mats to put on the landing. That kind of worked out a little bit better. And it was about time that I tried it to dirt for the second time. Yeah. Right, let's have it. Bag mats. Here we go. It's always good vibes having your friends around to give you some encouragement. Went up to the top of the start ramp. I had my phone down on the side playing music. When the chorus kicks in, I use that as my cue to take off and do the trick. It's quite a good way to try to sort of deal with the fear of things. After a few dummy runs up to the takeoff, I eventually kind of got myself together and threw the barrel. Should we get it up in case the light goes again? Yeah. Kind of went pretty well, to be honest. I kind of landed it perfectly first time, always the way you want things to work out. Pretty cool with everybody around, all my friends kind of running down. I'm not used to that kind of scene. It kind of inspired me to sort of try it a couple more times as well. Ended up doing three perfect ones in a row, which is quite handy. It was a cool feeling to kind of go through that big process, about six months of work, trying to get that one trick done. But I think it was worth it in the end, you know, I think it was a really good way to finish the, the daycare film. I'm pretty proud of it, to be honest, so. I hope that inspires you to go out and do some of the same with your kids, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>